Hello and welcome to the Genuine Learning Blog. My name is Melissa Galasso, and today we're going to take a little bit of a different turn. We don't usually talk very often about what's going on at the PCOB, but we happen to have an opportunity to talk about what's happening at the PCOB and how firms who do AICPA work can leverage it. So today we're going to talk about a PCOB spotlight on root cause analysis. Uh, this was issued in April of 2024, and it's based on a staff observation. Um, so similar to the AICPA and the IAASB, the the PCOB has a proposal out there uh, related to quality management. It's a little bit slower going, however, than the AICPA and the IAASB, who have both issued their standards. So the IAASB is already fully implemented, and the AICPA is in the process of uh, firms who are subject to AICPA standards are in the process of implementing them by December of 2025. And so these are a little bit further along. Obviously, PCOB has not issued their final standard, but they did want to provide a little bit of guidance here. So this report uh, provides staff observations regarding the potential positive impact that performing root cause analysis can have on quality. And so it is going to provide uh, some perspective here. Again, it's not prescribing how to do a root cause analysis, but it's just providing a little bit of a, an understanding of what some of the um, things they see frequently. And so it is part of a continuous improvement concept, right? The concept of continuous monitoring. Uh, one of the big changes from the quality control standards, the quality management is that proactive sort of concept. And so when we think about this, um, it says you start with the processes, the system, then you get events, both positive and negative. And you take those to figure out, well, what, what made things work so well here? What made things work not so well here? And then you take that root cause, not just they didn't follow policy, but why did they follow the policy? Were they not properly trained? Uh, were they missing something that they were supposed to? Did the audit partner tell them to do something they shouldn't have, right? Uh, did they misunderstand instructions? What is it, root cause? So that we can then remediate it, and then we can measure the improvement, right? And so it continuously improves. And so the PCOB put out a little bit of an understanding about what are the characteristics of a well-designed root cause analysis process. And again, having a dedicated team who's looking at these types of events to make that analysis, providing guidance and training, not surprising, having data, ga data gathering uh, and tools in order to see the trends, see that's happening. In terms of scope, uh, benefits of having both positive and negative quality events uh, considered. In terms of level of analysis, looking at both individual performance level, but also broader, uh, broader engagement type items. Uh, in terms of prioritization, right, making uh, this a priority as they go through it. In terms of conclusions, right, a collaboration was one of the key areas where they were looking at how they are determined uh, through, you know, is it a monitoring group or professional practice personnel, regional leaders, audit methodology personnel, right, bringing everyone together. And then again, monitoring the action so we see the impact of the work that's being done. So those are some of the items. Um, so it does provide some questions to consider as you go through this, as well as other observations that you can kind of take into consideration. Not designed to be prescriptive, really designed to be more of an opportunity here for organizations to consider quality. So uh, as we think about this, while this was written for the PCOB, root cause analysis is a core element of the SQMSs, of the Statements of Quality Management Standards. And so if you're an auditor and you're subject to the SQMSs, this can be helpful, even though it wasn't really written with you in mind, uh, but can be helpful in thinking about best practices and root cause analysis for your implementation of quality management. All right, so that's a wrap on this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope to see you on a future vlog. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.